coming up, um, you know, in that Jehovah's Witness household, uh, I guess were were you allowed to do a lot as far as like uh, you know the music theme or thing, like were you in the choir or anything like that? Well, um, a lot of that you know was considered worldly, you know, at the time. Um, we weren't really allowed to participate in any of those things, especially if it involved, you know, being around a lot of our peers in a, in a particular situation, doing worldly things. They thought that, you know, those worldly things were going to, you know, influence us in a negative way. So if we, in order for us to have fun and be like, man, I want to get involved, shoot, I'm, I'm a singing the choir. You know what I mean? In order for that to happen, we had to just go and sneak and do it. You know what I'm saying? I remember being in middle school, you know, we weren't allowed to, you know, be on sports teams and all of that. And, you know, I used to tell my mama, like, look, you know, I'm staying after school so I could try to work on my academics. You know, I need to get better at math. And little does she know, I'm, you know, I'm starting small forward on the basketball team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm having wrestling matches. I'm winning wrestling matches and stuff on the wrestling team. Like, she had no clue. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all this stuff and um, she had no idea. So, you know, I, I have no support, you know, as far as family and, you know, mom and dad in the stands coming to games or nothing. But, you know, for me, it was just, it was just extreme fun. Cause I was like, man, I get to go on and just, you know, still do this, you know, she don't know nothing about it. And, you know, she ain't gonna stop it. All right, cool. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, yeah. And, and as far as on the sports end, you know, I mean, it, it must have worked out. But yeah, sad. I heard yeah. that. You know, I heard you had a little bit of success on in the sports arena. Oh yeah, man. You know, I had a good time playing sports. Um, like I said, when I was in middle school, um, played uh on the basketball team. Shout out to Coach Khan. He went on to have a great you know, career in high school at Peabody. Um, but um. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I was having a great time playing sports, man, because, you know, that's what we did in the neighborhood. We played basketball, baseball, football, you know, right on the concrete, hardcore, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we took that to, to, to organize sports when we got to school. And um, when I got to high school, I ended up really, really doing a deep dive into uh, football and, um, you know, playing a couple of years for Shenley, you know, got my lesson when I was there. Cause you know, we got, we got tore up by Westinghouse when I went there. So, um, I was like, man, I ended up transferring to Westinghouse. I'm like, all right, now I'm with, I'm with the big dogs, you know what I'm saying? And then I, you know, I ended up losing this to my former team, Shinley, when I got to Westinghouse, I'm like, man, this is crazy. This is keep flip flopping. But, you know, I ended up experiencing winning a championship at Westinghouse. That was the big part for me being able to, um, go to a championship game and actually win, and you know hoist that trophy and, and and see what that feels like and you know go to the state playoffs and all that so definitely had some um some success uh shout out to uh westinghouse high school the alma mater dogs for life right yeah 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 speaking of that i mean uh, they, they even had a, a name for you I heard they called you war dog oh uh, yeah 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 that where where'd that come from yeah yeah, yeah. shout out to uh coach still deal shout out to coach uh dillard Man, this uh this guy, wow. So you know he had a nickname for a lot of people. Um, uh, this might have been his way to kind of remember us. Maybe he didn't really remember our names. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Um, I remember one day he just kind of stepped to me. He seen how hard I worked. You know, I was trying to really work. You know, get my respect. I'm I'm just new dude coming over from Shinley High School. Yeah, man, we punks. You know, we we, we you know we we. we we killed Shinley, you know what I'm saying, type stuff. So, you know, I'm trying to get my respect. You know, he's seen how hard I work, and he was just like, you know what? Come here, you little punk. You know what I'm saying? He used to talk crazy to him. He used to be like, man, he was just like, yo, from now on, he was like, what, what, what are you? Who are you? I guess he seemed like my hair, and I was curly and stuff. He's like, what are you? And was, I was like, yeah, I'm a, you know, my name's, you know, Emmanuel, I'm from, you know, from Oakland, I'm, I'm Mexican. My dad's Mexican. He's like, you know, you know. He's like, shut up. You know, from now on, your name is Mexican War Dog. And I was just like, all right, uh, I, I ain't had no choice. I was just like, all right, cool, Mexican War Dog. You know, what I'm saying, even got it tatted on me. You know, what I'm saying, War Dog. You can see it. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's but yeah. 
the, wow. Now that, that's interesting. You know, um, I've heard some stories about your former, you know, football coach and, um, you know, some, some good, some great and some interesting. Oh yeah. yeah. But, but you would probably agree that, you know, sports now compared to then, you know, for, for kids, it's probably a, a whole different time, right? Oh man, big time. You know, a lot of, uh, I would say a lot of um, just precautions are taken out more nowadays. I think we got a lot of information and um, just knowledge about how to handle certain things. Because back in the day, I think we were still trying to figure things out. You know what I mean? Like cats is probably out there with multiple concussions and just they ain't know how to really diagnose it. All kind of craziness was probably going on. And just, you know, it was a different way of, of showing um, masculinity and toughness. Um, I always tell everybody, you know, I, I probably became a man down there on the field of Westinghouse High School, um, to be honest. Um, that's how tough and rough the journey was. Um, but, yeah, man, um, definitely a different time. Back then, man, you know, coaches and everything, they got away with a lot. With how they talked to us, how they dealt with us, handled us. You know what I'm saying? It was a real time. But, you know, they were they were uh, raising, you know, some solid young men. You know, and I, and I can – testified to the fact that you know out of that whole bunch you know what i'm saying there was a, there's a lot of solid young men that came up out of that that whole bunch that are still impacting the community uh positively to this day 